Hello guys and welcome back to another video and today we'll be working the June 2018 DSET Mathematics Paper 2 Question 6. Here it goes. It says in this question, take the value of pi to be 22 over 7 and it says the diagram below, not drawn to scale, shows the cross section of a circular metal disc of radius 21 millimeters. A square hole with size 6 millimeters is located at the center of the disc and it says calculate part one the circumference of the disc so what we know is that the formula for circumference is circumference is equal to 2 pi r so i'm just getting the pi sign so it is 2 pi r so therefore, circumference is equal to two multiplied by, it says use pi as 22 over seven, multiplied by radius of 21 millimeters. So we can go ahead and do some amount of canceling. We can say seven into itself goes one time, seven into 21 goes three times. So what we're left with is circumference is equal to two multiplied by 22 multiply by 3 which is after the 7 is divided into 21 and now we can go ahead and solve for circumference which is 2 multiply by 22 multiply by 3 which will give us 132 millimeters and that is our answer for part 1. Part two now says where to calculate the area in millimeter square of the cross section of the disc. So remember the disc has a square hole right here. So this part would not be, so therefore we need to find the area of the entire disc and then subtract the area for this square hole that is taken of a portion of the disc from the total area to get the cross section the area in millimeter square of the cross section of the disc so what we know is that area of a circle is equal to pi r square so pi r square so we're first calculating the area of the entire disc so therefore that will be equal to area is equal to pi we're using as 22 over 7 multiply by r square and r was 21 millimeters so therefore area is equal to 22 over 7 multiply by 21 square is 441 we can say 7 into itself goes one time and 7 into 441 goes 63 times. So what we'll have remaining is area is equal to 22 multiplied by 63. And again, the 63 is from dividing 7 into 441. So now what we have is area is equal to 22 multiplied by 63 which will give us 1,000, area is equal to 1,386 millimeter square. And this is for the entire disc, which includes the portion, the square hole aspect. So now we're going to calculate the area of the square hole. So area is equal to, it's a square. So we're going to use side times sides or length times width and remember that was given as six millimeters so it will be six multiply by six and therefore area is equal to 36 millimeter square so therefore what the question asks is the area in millimeter square of the cross section of the disc itself so therefore it will be area then is equal to 1,386 minus the 36 millimeters and therefore area is equal to 
1350 millimeter square and that is our answer Part three now says, given that the thickness of the disc is two millimeters, calculate the maximum number of discs that can be constructed from 1,000 centimeter cube of available metal. All right, so what we have is that the thickness of the disc is two millimeter we're calculating the maximum of this can be the maximum number of this that can be constructed from 1000 centimeter cube of available metal which that one centimeter cube is given in volume so therefore we're going to look at what we have so what we have volume is equal to we're going to multiply the cross section of the ear of the cross section that we just calculated multiply by the thickness to get the volume of the disc that we have. So therefore, volume is equal to 1350 multiplied by 2. And that will give us 2700 millimeter cube. So that is the volume of what we have of the disc currently. So now from what is available, so what we know is that one centimeter cube, one centimeter cube is equal to 1,000 millimeter, 1,000 millimeter cube. And what we have available is 1000 centimeter cube so we're trying to convert that to millimeters so it's a bit x millimeter cube so therefore in cross multiplying it therefore means that x is equal to 1000 1000 multiply by 1000 millimeters. So this basically, and that is divided by one, when units cancel out, this will be left in millimeters cube. So therefore to calculate the maximum number of disc, and by the way, this is equal to one million millimeter cube so therefore to calculate the maximum number of this so maximum maximum number of this that can be constructed that would be that would be equal to volume that is available divided by calculated volume which would be what we calculated so therefore So therefore the max that can be constructed would then be the 1 million divided by the 2700 millimeter cube and therefore when we do that what we'll get is 370.4. So therefore the maximum number of discs that can be constructed would be 
basically 370 discs can be completely made because we can't make a point four for this. So therefore, 370, 370 discs can be completely made or constructed as the question said. So the thickness of the disc is two millimeters. Calculate the maximum number of discs, 370. And what we see is that they had given us the available metal, the volume was in the, the available metal was given in volume as 1000 centimeter cube. So we already had the area and all volume is equal to length times width times height. Basically, so then what we did was to calculate the volume of the what we have currently the side the volume of one disc that we have which would be 2700 milli this should be cube and not square so millimeter cube and what we have available we convert that centimeter 1000 centimeter cube to millimeter we got a million we divide that by the size the volume of one disc, which is 2,000 centim 2,700 millimeter cube, to get the amount of this that can be completely made. Part B now says, a globe is a scale, the spherical representation of the Earth. The actual length of the equator is 40,000 kilometers and is represented on the globe by a piece of string of length 160 centimeters. So it says what length of string would represent an actual distance of 500 kilometers on the globe. So what we know is that 40,000 kilometers is equal to a length of 160 centimeters. So therefore we're trying to find what is 500 kilometers equal to, which would be our X centimeters. So what we're going to do is to cross multiply and what we'll get is X centimeter is equal to 500 kilometers multiplied by 160 centimeters and all of that is divided by 40,000 kilometers. So therefore, X centimeters is equal to, so it is 500 multiplied by 160 divided by 40,000 and what we'll get is X is equal to 2 centimeters. So the length of string that would represent an actual distance of 500 kilometers on the globe is two centimeters. So part two now says the distance between that place, Palmyra and Quintec, is represented on the globe by a string of length 25 centimeters. Now it says calculate the value of PQ, which would be the distance between the two places, the actual distance in kilometers between P and Q. So what we know is that 40,000 kilometers again is equal to 160 centimeters. So now we're trying to find x kilometers which is the distance between the two places which is represented by a length of 25 centimeters so what we're going to do is to cross multiply again and what we'll get is x is equal to 40,000 kilometers multiplied by 25 centimeters and all of that is divided by 160 centimeters when we do that working What we'll get is 40,000 multiplied by 25, which will give us a million, and that is divided by 160, and we'll get X is equal to 6,250 kilometers. And that is the distance between P and Q. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you for part seven.